A hero cop walked out of the hospital tonight healing after getting slashed by an attacker in Coney Island. As CBS 2's Ali Bauman shows us, fellow officers jumped into action to take down the suspect. A 16-inch knife is marked as evidence on West 8th Street, a stone's throw from the Coney Island boardwalk and the 60th police precinct. It's one of two blades police say a man armed himself with here while blocking traffic just before 1 p.m. A passing cop saw and walked over. The man rushed toward the officer with one of the knives raised. Witnesses flagged down additional officers from the precinct to order the man to drop his weapons. Failing to drop the knives, and as the subject continued to charge at the officers, one officer fired four times, striking the man in the leg and shoulder. I was watching TV, and I heard like four gunshots. Police say the suspect fell to the ground, still clutching his knives. He's not letting go of it, and the officer struggled for a very prolonged time to move that out. That knife, that long bladed knife from him. One officer was sliced on his hand. He and the suspect were both taken to Coney Island University Hospital. Brooklyn is danger. This summer is going to be real crazy. Just a few hours later, Officer John Favale walks out of the hospital with his hand bandaged, greeted with applause from dozens of cops and Mayor Eric Adams. The dad served with me, a former uh, inspector, commander. Uh, we were captains together. Uh, this is a New York family, a New York story. At 29 years old, Officer Favale is a six-year veteran of the NYPD. We're told he is the officer who fired his weapon. The suspect is stable at the hospital where he's in police custody. Investigators are still trying to determine a motive. In Coney Island, Brooklyn, Ali Bauman, CBS2 News.